With me today is an entire spread of Aganor's Leaf Tobacco. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please hit that bell, make certain that you get notified every time we come out with a new video. If you're interested in this particular Aganorsa Leaf pack or many others from Aganorsa Leaf, check us out, you know where to find us. Before me today is the nine pack sampler of Aganorsa Leaf. We call it basically our tasting pack, uh, but this is a quick breakdown of what makes Aganorsa Leaf so special and what makes them so different. And uh, I made a video with that very title and someone was asking me, okay, I kind of understand, but can you break it down a bit more? They use three primary tobaccos within all of their cigars. That is Criollo 98, Corojo 99, and Corojo 2012, all of which are different. Within the pack, you get all three tobacco leaves separately. So this is a Viso of Criollo 98, and then of course you have Corojo 99 and 2012. And this is sort of a breakdown of what those tobaccos are. And what I want to do with this video is basically walk you through. If you picked up the sampler pack, or if you're going to pick up the sampler pack, watch this video, drop down in the comments your experience with the Aganorsa leaf tasting experience and what you have found and where your preference lies. With that, with that said, let's jump right into it. So what I want to do is I want to explore really what this is, what it offers, and how this translates to the different cigars. So I'm going to go ahead and light up this Viso of Criollo 98 uh, and sort of get impressions. Now, what I've been told is that Criollo 98 is more of that quintessential, like, Nicaraguan tobacco. So there's that spice, there's that earth, and coffee was one of the first things that came to mind. So what I'm getting right now is a, like, a, it, there's definitely strength there. There is there is pepper on the retrohale. There is definitely that earth and definitely coffee, but really like a lot of texture. Now, also it tastes very familiar in a way. Now it's sort of one note, but it tastes very familiar and that's due to the fact of what cigars use this. So that, that type of like kind of Nicaraguan punch, that strength in there, that little more like uh, quintessential type of flavor that you have from Nicaraguan tobacco, uh, that is used in these cigars right here. So if you are a fan of this, you're gonna find it in the Lunatic Torch, you're gonna find it in the Guardian of the Farm Night Watch, you're gonna find it in the Rare Relief Reserve and then the Maduro from, the, and the Coraline Maduro. Now let me say this, Every one of these cigars has a mixture of Criollo, of Criollo 98, Corojo 99. Uh, however, some lean more and more dominant on that side versus the Corojo 99 side. You have that coffee, you have that spice, you can fill it on the lips and the tip of the tongue. Um, but in terms of flavor, I'm not getting like a full rounded, well-rounded part of the palate. But that is definitely some of the strength there. So that is the Corojo 98. Now let me see the Corojo 99. Now this has been explained. Now this is perhaps what makes Aganorsa like, this is like synonymous. Corojo 99, Aganorsa leaf. This is kind of their flagship tobacco. Right off the bat. So this is what I love about this leaf is you can taste it on many points of the palate. It's very diverse, even in its single form. So you have some of that sweetness, that like immediate sweetness, that tingling on the tongue as well. It makes your, your uh, palate salivate. Uh, as Terrence Riley has said before, uh, this is like the gusher of the, uh, the three tobaccos because the amount of flavor that comes from here is incredible. Definitely that cedar a l sweetness, a little bit of spice, especially on the retro. So you can kind of see you have your Criollo 98 dominant, you have the signature selection, which is kind of in between, and then the three that are more leaning towards the, they're still kind of in the middle, but a little more on the uh, Corojo 99 side, is you have that Coraline Corojo, the signature shade grown, and the Guardian of the Farm. So I would say if you're more of a fan of the Corojo 99, you're gonna probably lean a bit more there. I personally like both, I like to see what both. Now, what you do is you have both different diverse tobaccos, each have a different note to it. I almost like the, the gravity of this one more. It's deeper flavor. 
Think of it in terms of like more treble, more bass. But in terms of overall flavor, Corojo 99 kind of has it. So what happens if we take both of these and do a little blending experiment? experiment? What happens if we take both of these and do a blending experiment both? It honestly tastes more like a cigar. Like if you try this, it tastes more like a blended cigar, even though that's just like the beginning step. That is taking those tobaccos, blending them together. This is the like Aganor Salif heritage right here. These particular leaves blended together in a fashion. So, but honestly, the flavor from this, I mean, you could smoke this by itself. It's incredible. Definitely more of a punch though. So you have that, and that was the heritage of Aganorsa. However, then we introduce the Cerberus, the one and only Aganorsa leaf cigar to use as a wrapper, the 2012. So experimenting with that, 2012 looks a bit lighter than the other ones. Um, this not as like dark. It's definitely got like a lighter shade to it. Definitely more subtle. There's more like pie crust sweetness to it. There's almost an umami. Almost like burnt ends, but almost like a burnt end of a... A little bit of cedar, but it's definitely more subtle. There's like a floral note to this. So taking something like that, this more delicate side, and uh, I'm gonna experiment here with the, the more punch. Let's see if what overwhelms what. I'm assuming when we have this, you're gonna have more Criollo 98 flavor. Honestly, I kinda like that sweetness better. It's almost like a cherry sweetness. Interesting. So these are the three like main tobaccos that have put Aganorsa leaf on the map for what they are. Premier growers of Corojo 99, and then a hybrid from there, which is Criollo 98, and then even further, 2012. Different seeds of tobaccos, and that of course is gonna be the Cerberus. That is why I really enjoy about our particular pack here is because you get a diverse set of the portfolio, and you also learn more about the tobacco. You have that bolster and that gravity of the Criollo 98. You have that flavor gusher and salivation of Corojo 99. 2012 being more delicate, more floral, almost more herbal in a way. But this is a great way to experiment and try different where your palate tends to lie. Definitely an experience to further your palate even more as you delve closer and closer into knowing your palate and smoking amazing cigars from Aganor Salif. Once again, drop down in the comments. If you happen to get this pack or if you're gonna pick it up, I would love to know your experience with it, where your preference lies. Thank you again for watching with us on Oakland Tobacconist.